Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. I, I just, uh, I would love this show. <laughs> it's so much fun. Uh, Let me start out by asking about the, the true crime genre and how America seems to just be in love with this idea of us looking at each other, but in the most extreme sense, I suppose. And Renee, you have been a fan of true crime for a while, isn't that right? Oh yeah, I mean, guilty. You need a way to unwind at the end of a long day. <laughs> Some people internet shop, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you a fan of the podcast? Is that how you got involved in the project? Oh yeah, I was obsessed. I, I, I binged the whole thing driving up the five freeway, just try and stop me. Um, I just can like millions of people, couldn't believe it. When you hear this story, this series of escalating absurdities and you get to the end and you just keep asking yourself why and how. Judy, your character uh, it fascinates me. I wonder if we're, as the audience, are we supposed to root for or against you? I will leave that up to the audience. Um, I found, I. I I felt a little of both sometimes, I'll be honest with Leah. I mean, she is a real person, so I was trying to be, and we were all trying to be respectful to all of these people who are real people. But the, the fact that this person is still alive and she's she's a real person, she did these things and she's out there, and I wonder, I'm so curious if she's watching it, oh. And another strong character is the narrator. I can't picture this project without Keith Morrison. In fact, I want Keith Morrison narrating my entire life. Mm, I don't know that you do. <laughs> Cause that only means one of, one of two things. <laughs> You're either going down or you did it. <laughs> yeah, he really adds the right tone to the project. Now, another thing that really brings this whole uh, story to life is the extensive makeup, Renee, that you have had to endure. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you do it. Um, well, thanks. Um, you know, that's the genius of Arian Titan, our um, prosthetics. Uh, I, I call him a magician. He hand makes every single one of those things and paints them every day down to the last freckle. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I am so looking forward to where this journey takes all of us. Oh, that's great. Thanks so much. Pamela Hope is not a suspect. Yeah, well, she should be. It's only going to get worse. Oh!